return. What now? With all due haste. And I shall follow. you got on your mind if you insist but me. They dropped this stuff. Why don't you take it? It's all I have. Okay, if you say so. I can't thank you enough, stranger. Are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? That's very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp, perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Correct as always. <laughs> <laughs> 
And your feedbacks really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Good luck with that research. Welcome to Rivet City. Everything looks okay here. Everything looks okay here. Dad, my ship's over. I'm going to do some shopping. Is there a problem? Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend. Dead or long gone. Don't care much, as I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, not do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. He's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Carry on, then. You don't look so tough. They call me sister. Don't ask. Are you making fun of my name? It's a damn good thing for you this place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. Welcome back, sir. She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since he was just a boy, and I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Farewell. Are you ready to order, Mr. Diego? 
Not yet. Give me a few minutes, Mr. Lucky. Everything looks okay here. Are you looking at me? Was there something else? You know what you need to do. Howdy, I'm Seagrave, Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. I've got a little bit of everything. Thanks. Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb, but I never really cared about the politics. Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton, and he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. See you later.
How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing, so I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? You want your precious proof. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Oh, all right. So maybe I didn't wipe his mind like he asked, but I buried it. Deep. Almost as good, really. But it's still there. Still accessible. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. Bunch of bleeding heart morons, if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going! Ha! Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck. About 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Apparently, though, 
My teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Ha! <laughs> Why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Don't let your guard down. Get a rest, will you? Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid. I don't have time for existential debate. And I'm not interested in whatever religion you're peddling. Excuse me? Look, kid, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by the way of the nearest porthole. All right, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot. I'm a human being. I breathe. I eat! Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding! Robots don't bleed. I'm not sure what to say. 
I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit this is pretty convincing evidence, but it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? My God, I, I remember, I remember it all, from before, Zimmer, the Commonwealth, the Institute, my God, all those runners I brought down, you, you made me remember, why, how, I, never mind, I just, my God, what am I going to do, my life, everything, it's all a lie. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shove him into a very small box and send him north where he belongs. Hmm. He is a security threat, isn't he? All right. I authorize you to carry out Dr. Zimmer's execution. Don't think this gives you license to run around shooting anyone you want. Just Zimmer. And that bodyguard, if he gets in the way. Here, use my weapon. I've had it forever, and it's never let me down. Consider it a token of my appreciation. I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm not really sure. Look, just call me Harkness. That's who I am to the people on this boat who rely on me. It's who I am now. In fact, for everyone's sake, let's just pretend I've always been Harkness. We'll keep the truth a little secret between friends. All right? Carry on, then. Hello. Good to see you. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? Harkness, you say? Yes, yes, that makes sense. He used to work for a special branch of the Commonwealth Police, after all. And he's right here, in Rivet City? Excellent. I must wait, find an opportune moment to confront him. Thank you for your discreet assistance and continued discretion regarding this matter. And now for your payment. This combat module will directly affect your central nervous system. I think you will find it quite beneficial.